Okay, my friends, this little Briggs and Stratton is seized, but it's got a nice little deck on it. And it belongs to my buddy Alfred, who uh, has an acreage, uh, a recreational property. And uh, he owned this one, but before he owned this one, he owned this one. And the case started to split on this a few years ago. And I flux core welded it, and he stuck a piece of he stuck a piece of metal underneath there to hold it together. So now what we're going to try and do is take this Tecumseh and stick it on the shell that this uh, Briggs is on. So this is a Murray. And this is an MTD. Now the only real issue that I can see so far is this. These Murrays have a T in the uh, in the cable, versus the uh, MTDs have a have a Z bend. And quite a few of them, most of them use Z bends. But Murray is sometimes using these T's. Maybe back in the day, right? So. This one is seized. I'll just give you a little look at that. I'm going to try. I don't know how much you can see because I'm in the bright light. That is, that is seized, eh? And this little Tecumseh over here, it's just the Energizer Bunny. So watch what you say about Tecumseh, guys. We're replacing a Briggs with a, with a Tecumseh. So there's going to be a few issues. Um, shaft length is one, but it's so close, I think it's going to make no difference. And uh, we may have to use this blade, 20 inch, what's this one? 20. Yeah, they're both 20 inches. So if we have a little bit of an issue with the blade, with the blade length, we can swap blades. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, so let's do a part part out. Mm, where's my little? Oh, there it is. I'm just getting the socket ready. doing first? Probably the cover, right? Eh? Now sometimes I like to use the long, the six inch long shanks, but this one I'm going to use the shorter one. Oh. Gotta make sure you're going the right direction. So as I said, there's some delicious parts on here for me. That might be one of them. So being as it being as it was running when it blew up, his wife was using it on the other side of the acreage and he heard it going. He heard it start started to tap and then bang and then clunk. So now we're gonna take the coil off of there. Valuable stuff first on this autopsy, but I won't be doing an internal on it. Okay, valuable in this one, number one, coil. Valuableness. That's a word now. But it ain't in the dictionary. All right, screwing device. Stuff's in really good shape. Wonder what year this motor is. 2002. That's new to me. Okay, I'm going to need a 3 8 
Get that tank off of there. Maybe a half inch and a three eighths. Yes, a half inch and a three eighths. Now I'm working on the other side. I promised you I would keep you in the loop and now I'm working on the other side of the mower. So let's turn this guy around. So do you see how high off the ground this thing is? He literally cuts bush with this thing. Okay, half inch. And that whole tank should come off of that. Carburetor and all. Okay, here's a good lesson for you. Okay, pulse prime. Positive crankcase ventilation can come off. Oop. Now we just pull this out. And I know it's covered with uglies. Let me just get a few of these uglies off of here. But now you'll notice right there, right here, this is just a Z bend on here, guys. Like that. Did you see that? Just, it, that's all it is. That's all that's holding that throttle on there is that, into that hole. So obviously, most likely, a good carburetor and tank. I'm moving too fast for you, sorry. Now the next most valuable thing, believe it or not, are these. They're hard to get off because you... They, they, they kind of almost screw off. Need long. Remember, my eyes are 60 some years old, right? There we go. I want to tuck that underneath there. No, it's not coming. There we go. Rotate. There we go. Now I'm going to re-bend that back the way it was looking before I started. Pretty close, pretty close. Good. And I'm going to take that off. That's the wind vane for the governor. Eh? When it hits heavy grass, there's less wind, gives more gas. The RPMs pick up right off the wind off that vane right there. keep that or not but I will, I will throw it into the bag so none of this throttle stuff is, is any good to me or the brake stuff let's get that spark plug out of there and have a look and see how that did over the centuries we're going to use an, an impact on that champion Okay, I want that head gasket. So if you guys can come over here and have a look at that, I am just going to get the half inch. Let's go. I might as well do the crisscross as we start oh, from the outside. Well, the head fell off. So now don't say anything about I should save the motor and I should do this and I should do that. It's seized. It probably came into me as a seized motor and I used a hammer to get it going. Ooh. Okay, I want that head gasket. So let's just see if we can accomplish that right now.
You guys getting it? Oh, not quite, eh? There we go. I'm working my way around. I'm working my way back to you, Bob. No, babe. It's usually a little harder to remove near the exhaust port. No, I think it's off. bad did I do? One little chunk there, eh? I am going to keep it. You'd be surprised on what you can salvage on a head gasket. I'm just going to pop this outside and blow the feathers off of it. Okay, I don't know about the head if I'm going to keep that or not. So that's going to go in a separate box right here. What else have we got? Well, I think that's about it, guys. I don't need the brake. I don't need the wire. Well, I guess I could take the wire. You're still looking down, aren't you? So now, let's get that, uh, because we're reusing the case, right? The, the carcass, or whatever you want to call it, we're going to get that motor off of there now. But the first thing, the last thing we have to do is get the uh, cable. just tried in getting the Z-Bend off the engine. So like I said, I think this, this mower was in its second phase of life. And it died. Blade! get this blade off of here. Oh, it will move. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Now, is it 9 16th or am I dreaming again? With, with my setup here is my 9 16 socket is thicker than my 5 8. I wonder 
I'm like, oh good, and the late adapter came with it. Yahoo! Okay, so now the only thing we've got to do, and it might be half inch or it might be nine sixteenths, is to get this motor off of here. I do the lower ones first. Well, it's awfully scored, guys. Yeah, those are gouges. So she no fix. Okay. Now, do I take the valves out? Well, once in a while, I could use a set of valves exactly that size. Hmm. Yes. Oh, those are quarter. Now, we don't have to get fancy on this. Looks fine. Yeah, let me just, you know, trouble is, where do you put them, man? Eh? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, that's a dead motor now. Do I take the flywheel key off? Hmm. I think I got enough Briggs flywheel keys around here. So now I'm just going to drain the oil out of it. Okay, hope you're getting some of this. I know. I should have slowed right down and showed you how I took those valves out. But if you guys wanted to take a valve out, you'd figure it out. Okay. Um, slightly upward angle so you don't spill oil. I did not do that. Holy jumping Dinah! All else fails, get a bigger stick, right? Oh. I'm just going to take this right over to my oil pail and dump it in there. So the... 
I'm going to measure the output shaft length. I'm a little worried about it being too short. One and three eighths. That's pretty short. Absolutely right, there was not much oil in it. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop this outside, blow the feathers off of it, and bring it back in. Well, now it's a race mower. Okay, this one's going to take a little less work. You heard it run. We've got to disconnect the pull rope the stop cable, the blade, and the three bolts for the motor. I'm not even going to change the oil until we get it in the other machine. Whew, I'm getting tired. Okay. Stop cable. Gas out of there. We got a, we got a little more maintenance to do yet. Bad gas in here. That tank is perfect. Well, this is going to be a great, great carburetor for small project, eh? I'm just going to blow that off too, if I can. Oh, we... Oh, we... Okay. So, what's the first thing? Cables. So I'm just taking the cable off on this side. There we go. I'm gonna leave it just like that. Now Oh, the pull rope. Seven sixteenths. Good. on the uh the five eights can you move that <laughs> good boy and Dave I guess I better follow your advice eh buddy it says to use a jack all the time so you don't hurt yourself Of that other 
shaft on the engine, one and three eighths or something. One and three eighths. So the shaft length is identical. That's really rare, guys. So now we're going to get this engine off of here, and I think those are nine sixteenths or maybe oh, those, those ones are a half. Can you believe the differences in sizes of bolts of similar machines? Okay, there's the air tool. That off. And uh, the hat should be around here somewhere. You should see what he did to keep that back wheel on there. You see all those? Okay, right above the wheel and the axle of the wheel, there's these round self-tapping screws holding it together. That's pretty inventive. So anyway, we don't need this carcass anymore. So my goal for today and then I'm going to stop is to get this engine mounted on the other frame. probably use the Murray blade and adapter, eh? I'm going to use the MTD engine bolt. Good. Okay. So I changed my mind twice on this already. <laughs> I'm going to use the MTD. Sometimes 
sometimes there's just a feel. And we're going into aluminum here. Eh? And they are the different bolts, but I'm keeping everything MTD on the chassis. Okay, I'm just going to grab a, a 960 socket and see how that feels. We should use the Murray blade on the Murray machine. Oh, but it's pretty chewed up too. Oh well. Let's do a quick sharpen. I wonder what time it is. Just try it. Oops. I think it works 
not bad. <laughs> All things considered there. Did you get all that? <laughs> it runs! All right, the garage door is just closing. Look at that air filter, eh? Now he cuts in really fluffy areas. I'm not taking any, anything against anybody. And this was his second mower. He, this was the one that he wasn't using much because the, he had the other one. And then the other one blew up and he started using this one. Well, that's pretty cool. I bet you I, it blows out, but I'm gonna show this to him. Yeah, I just took the spark plug out. It looks pretty good. You know, think of the time. Oh, let's get, spread a little light on the uh, subject here. Look at that. So I'm just going to do a little quick buff on that, and uh, we'll come back. Glasses. All right. Looks really good, eh? So let's just put this RJ19 LM back in there. Well, the plug was a little dirty, but not, and it was running, as you guys saw it running with that dirty air filter too, so it should run like a champ now. So now I just have a, a blade issue and a cable issue. We'll get to the cable issue last. Okay, so I'm just going to put a few things away and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so now I'm just playing with the uh, blade depth. So let's just make a mark. Pardon me. I'll make a mark right there on the leading edge. Alright, and then we'll go back to the same leading edge. Just a minute. Gotta... Yeah, that's pretty good. So now, but I'm gonna, first I'm gonna take this blade off and try the other one. Plus I've got both washers on this side of the nut. I think maybe one washer, because you've got the blade adapter, washer, washer, lock washer. So I'm gonna just play a little bit with the other blade to see where we are. So blade clearance is a big deal when you're changing from one lawnmower frame to another. This one will work. And I just touched the edge on this one up before we uh, got going. So that goes on like that. We're just going to see where this one ends up. And if it ends up a little further down, I'd like it to be a quarter. My, okay, I'll start again. I want it to be about a quarter of an inch from the uh, base of the body. And if this one works, we'll just do it. Where is that? Okay, this is the one that came off of it, right? A little bit better. I can tell already. to be but let's just tighten it up and if there is I'll change it oh. okay where's my mark yes this one's a good quarter inch below there I'm gonna use that blade but I'm gonna stick I'm gonna stick a lock washer on there. Lock washer? Now I've got a bag of them. Here we go. Now, everything looks 
looks good. Blades on right wing. Let's take it up. Perfect. So now I'm going to recheck my mark. And we are a quarter of an inch below that other mark. So that's just great. And a quarter of an inch from the lip of the, this lip right here. A quarter of an inch doesn't sound like much, but when the grass is getting pushed and then it has to bounce back up before it gets cut. Alrighty. Cable. And oil. I'll be back in a bit. I gotta find the perfect cable. All right, guys, I got smart and I ran the cable up the other side and it's not so tight. It's just perfect. Right there. And good there. And good there. See that? That's a nice movement. Now I'm just gonna stick some oil in it. I'm absolutely stunned at but what people give me heck over. I think I pour the oil like this, and I think I, my YouTubers tell me that I should be pouring the oil like that. <clears throat> but either way, the oil comes out the hole, right? There, little, forget these are right against the frame. Eh? All right. So this lawnmower does not cut your average grass, eh? like this lawnmower knocks down two feet of weeds that are 150 yards from his cabin. So you have to, you know, it's, it's used, and he's doing it right, he's using, he's using $60 lawnmowers or less to do the job. I have nothing wrong with that at all. So let's just uh, get this oil funnel out of here. I'll wipe up a little bit more. And this one, this baby's done. That's a pretty successful engine change. <coughs> now we'll just, oh yeah, that's good. It's perfect. These little plastic guys are sometimes hard to thread in if you don't have the thread just perfectly lined up. Right? Okay, let's see if there's a notch that's damaged or something. Nope. There we go. I don't get it. You gotta just get them right. Okay, nice and tight. And I'm gonna sta start it on the stand like uh, Double Wide 6 does. I'm just going to do a little uh, wipe down with some Fantastic and we're going to call this one O Completo. So thanks for watching this crazy job, guys. I appreciate it. It was fun. <laughs>